So, Road Trip 2.0, we switched gears a little bit. Dare I say gears in an electric car, but you know, I, had to, I had to bring it out somewhere. But So we are now in a new Audi e-tron. We were driving along with the Model S and the Model 3 having a good time. And I'm an, I've been an Audi guy my entire life. Right. I might even have an Audi tattoo somewhere, you know what I mean? <laughs> I really don't. But anyhow, but, but, oh, it's good to hear. It's so cool being in this car because it's like, this is literally the future of Audi, the future of cars, where you Definitely. are blending the best of both worlds. I mean, the, the superb quality of Audi now meeting electric vehicles is exciting and it's right here in the e-tron so john thanks for hanging out with us of today. course without a doubt happy no, to be here you were in germany getting training on this yes, so there, was. there was no messing around right. right at all so just a quick overview of some of the key things in this car i mean just before we, we, we started recording this like my mind was being blown with some Definitely. of the cool parking features and the, the the visibility that you get and i just i've been in love with of course the virtual cockpit right. forever and forever so tell me what, what are some of the key things that you think are really setting the e-tron apart these days honestly john like you said the virtual cockpit that's to be one of my favorite things about the vehicle Look at that. there you go the yep you press the view button there and then you'll notice on the left hand side of the steering wheel you have the two arrow buttons yes. so what i'm going to have you do is okay. hit the left arrow on the very top yeah it'll be yep that one right there there we go and then now press the view button now watch this we're going to get the whole exactly going and on. now your navigation screen is suddenly right there what i love about this it's showing where all the coffee is <laughs> definitely shows you all that <laughs> and especially in pittsburgh another cool thing with that yeah you can always have uh the road construction up there uh, and that does have traffic <laughs> indications so Say we're in the Squirrel Hill Tunnels. Have some nice little pen dot barrels there. That's exactly right. And they're always <laughs> everywhere, like a Christmas tree. <laughs> exactly so, right. No, Super just the cool, cool thing about that virtual cockpit, there's so much to do there. Everything that you can do over on this interface, you can basically do over there. So exactly. it makes it really, really, really nice with driver safety. Right. It eliminates you from having to look back and forth from the road to the screen in the center to the road to the screen in the center. So it's all right there in front of you. You can access your telephone, your radio, your navigation, all right there. Cool thing I like about this, a lot of times whenever I'm driving at night, maybe this screen gets bothersome. Yeah. You Turn can it off. Turn that, that down. And now it looks like it's flush it's with so the It's so beautiful. Put it back on. No, we'll put on. it back on. <laughs> so over there, I know you like the uh, the parking systems, right? Want to check that out? Let's, yeah, let's go through this because I think I think our, our, our viewers will really appreciate this. Sounds good. So anytime you put the car in reverse, it's going to default to the back of camera. But say we are uh, going down to PNC Park for yeah. a pirate game. Okay. We're pulling into a parking garage or something like it's that. Tight. We, it's exactly, tight. Exactly. It's tight. Exactly. We want to know how close we are to the car in front of us, the, the barrier in front of us, the wall in front of us. We're going to press that button right there. Okay. And it's going to pull up our front camera. Okay. So a couple of different camera angles. We're going to have the front camera, the front corner view. And it's a split screen. That's exactly right. Top view camera system over here. Say you really like that top view camera system. You're parallel parking downtown, down in Southside. You want to know how close you can get to the curb. How about we do this? Because you don't want to curb the wheels. In no, this not on this one. No, These you are beautiful don't. wheels. Yes, they, they should are. not be curbed by anybody. So now you have the larger view of the top view camera system. Thing I really like mentioning parallel parking over here. Yeah. You have your front wheels. So that's actually going to show you your front two wheels. Wow. And then rear. And then just wheels. where you are. Oh, man. And I know your favorite was the 3D button. Yes. Go talking, ahead and play around with that. The 3D, so like, I can't quite tell where the corner of my car is. So I'm going to just kind of scroll around here to see where I am. Now, how, you can you zoom in? Can I do that? How about that? Oh, man. that's Yes, I'm not too far from the curb. <laughs> Definitely not too close. Right. Very nice, man. See, that's the type of stuff that just really sets Audi apart, Definitely. right? I mean, that is just, you can't Definitely. just find that anywhere. <laughs> not at all. Not at no. all. The, the fit and finish of the Audi is just, it, yeah. It's and anyway, so you're in here, though. I mean, this is just an, an insanely nice interior. I mean, it makes you just want to, like, drive around all day long until right. you run out of charge. I mean, look right? at the Alcantara door yeah. inserts. One of my favorites. How about that? Yeah. Upgraded Velcona 11. Yeah, Alcantara is the, the yeah. money. A little Alcantara in the steering wheel would have been a good little option. Yes, it would have. <laughs> hey, maybe with the S model. Who knows? Yeah, exactly. We'll get there someday. I think next year. <laughs> Very cool. Nice. Nice, nice. You know things that I don't, which I like. Very cool. Anything else we should be thinking about in this car as far as... So like, one of my favorites, just yeah. this whole MMI touch response system. It's yeah. a really, really new thing with Audi. Okay. They just introduced it for 2019. The first vehicles that we got with the MMI touch response system, yeah. the dual touch screens here, were in November of last year. Of course, the e-tron is all new to us, just came out in May. So we're just playing around with it now. There's a lot of great features. I'm a huge fan of the system. It's just seamless. It's easy to use as far as searching things. Say we want to go to uh, downtown Pittsburgh. Yeah. We have our search button up at the top. Now our lower face is the keyboard. Whoa. But okay. I can press the squiggle over there. Check this out. T I T T S B U R G H. You're making some modern art while you're at it too. That's T I T Wow. T S B U R G H. 
That's interesting. Easy as that. So one of my Holy favorite heck. things. It's really, really nice. Now you'll notice the little G up here at the top. The Google, Google Maps. is really cool. It actually gives you reviews of different coffee shops. Oh, really? So like, I don't yep. want to go to 21st Street Coffee. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> right. So... Now, lots of good capability here. Another thing I really like, the dual climate control. That's a really, really nice system. Now, you over here, like I said, dual climate. You can increase temperature one at a time or Whoa, drag to increase. This, wow. Exactly. Same okay. thing with the fan speed as well. I might say this so. is too fancy at this point. <laughs> Definitely. I was happy with this, much less like scrolling <laughs> over and doing this. There's just so much capability cool. with it. It's a Absolutely. it's a great vehicle. Yeah, this is one of those things where I mean, you can just nerd out on this thing Definitely. all day. Wow. Without a doubt. And while we're down here on this face, I'll point out the drive select button. Okay. So the drive select is really, really cool because what that's going to do is pull up all of our different drive modes. My favorite are probably going to be dynamic okay. and comfort. Kind of tighten the shocks up a little exactly. bit. Exactly. And, uh, yeah. and then you'll notice the air suspension over here. And yeah. each one has the adaptive air suspension, which is really, really cool because whenever you exceed a certain speed on the highway, it's going to automatically yeah. lower the vehicle better for aerodynamics. But if you're going off-road, which I would not want to do in this. Let's I raise it up. It's just going to jack the car. That's it. Bit. Raise it up. And there's actually an off-road mode in here for you, so that's, that's, that's what you like. That, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. So off-road mode there as well. You can actually see it physically raising. And then yeah. if you look over at oh, the Oh, we're going up. We are physically raising. <laughs> cool system. That's too much fun, it's dude. A cool you gotta, system. You got to love that, man. Let me go back. I definitely do. Let me see what else is in here. So, uh, yeah, like how I said, dare you go with efficiency? Dynamics, my absolute let's, let's favorite. Let's go dynamic, because we're in town, dude. There's no mess. Let's drop this thing all the way back down. Well, the dynamic's really, really there cool, because dynamic paired with the quad draw wheel drive system, yeah. it's just a phenomenal drive whenever you're, say, on those back roads, and you're doing a lot of turns and twists, and hills. It makes it Absolutely. really nice. Super cool, man. I can't believe how much fun this is. I can't wait to be on the road with this Definitely. thing and do Definitely. our next interview. Let's do it. I can't thank you enough, man. Of course. Let's do this thing, man. Of That's course. Let's cool, do cool. it.